Hey everyone, I'm excited to announce our new functionality, which is the OneTrust integration. If you use OneTrust for data mapping to record your processing activities, assets, and ROPAs, this functionality will help you. Uh, with our new functionality, Privado will supercharge OneTrust and uh, help you keep your records up to date there. So just for context, if you use OneTrust, depending on if you use the data discovery module or not, pretty much you would be dependent on manual discovery questionnaires. Either it could be a questionnaire or an assessment for ROPA report or PIA or asset discovery or third party risk management. All of the questionnaires is how you depend to generate your data map. We keep hearing one pain point from everyone. These data maps, they go outdated pretty fast. So if your software changes, if you have a new asset, nobody informs and that becomes the data map becomes out of date by the time new next software release happens. The second pain point, it, it depends on a lot of people to maintain it, create it, a lot of manual input. And it's like, you know, you are doing playing whack-a-mole. You're just, you just keep chasing it and the data map never finishes. With Privado, we're changing that. Privado is a privacy code scanning solution. So we scan the software that your engineers are building. And once we scan the software itself, from there, we are automatically being able to generate things like processing activities, data elements, data sources, data transfers, data flow diagrams, third party sharing, all of that. We take all of this information and update OneTrust. So your data maps go from static to dynamic. Your Rupa report reports become up to date and uh, they become accurate. You don't have to rely on people and you save a lot of time. Uh, you become more efficient and your risk goes down. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate how that happens in Privado. Um, so this is the Privado dashboard. I've connected, uh, I've done some scans. There are some information that already exists. As you can see, the data, there are third parties and, you know, with purposes. And if we go into any application, there is also a data flow diagram, right? So you can see this is something that you're trying to create in OneTrust. Uh, and we have an application. This is a business application called authentication. So I'm going to hop over to my OneTrust instance. As you can see, it's pretty empty right now. Uh, in your case, it'll have some values, but just to demonstrate how that works, there's no processing activity. There are no entities, uh, no assets, sorry, no vendors, right? Pretty much everything is empty. And what we are going to demonstrate next is how the integration really works. So let's uh, let's quickly move to the integration page, uh, settings, integrations, connect, and then I have the OneTrust page, right? So I need to enter a couple of things uh, for this to happen, but let me just do that quickly. Uh, app URL, uh, organization name, which is Privado Inc., and then these two secrets. I'm going to pause and hit connect uh, so you can see the integration. Just entered the values and as you can see from the message, OneTrust has been integrated. You can see here it's showing syncing. I'm going to go back to the OneTrust instance. Uh, as you can see, there's no processing activity. There was no assets initially, and there were no vendors. Slowly, all these values will start to get populated. Uh, as you can see, one application is already here, storefront. Uh, we can actually go back and see that in Privado. Uh, we can filter it by application and see storefront. So. Yeah, data of these three are being pushed there. We can start to see that, uh, you know, name of the application, managing organization, uh, data elements are already being populated. You can see customer, last name, category, classification. Uh, what else? Let's see what else is there in related. Uh, nothing else. So I think right now, just the processing activities are being created. So let's wait for a couple of seconds and then we'll have the entire data another one is here so slowly all the data is coming in here perfect and you know a couple of seconds and we have all the processing activities here the assets are also up to date so you can see assets are being created and there are vendors that are being created as well branch cloudflare and you know Let's focus on the processing activities bit. Let's look at the application authentication. It has 10 data elements. It has some assets, an entity, and we can actually go to the lineage. It also draws a lineage. So you can see a lot of data is going to these uh, third parties, SendGrid, Slack, all of that good stuff. And then, you know, personal data is already there. Data category is already there. Data subject is already there. So 
Privado basically takes the part which is the toughest uh, to get information on, which is what's the personal data, the data assets, the third parties, the data flow diagram, and automatically updates it. Now, tomorrow, let's say your mobile app changes, your website changes, your processes changes, Privado will extract that and update OneTrust automatically. If you are a OneTrust customer, uh, feel free to reach out to us and we'll be happy to show you how this automation can further automate your privacy program. Thank you.